in this theater. Uh, that's what we call it where I'm from. I'm from the Ozarks. Woo! Yeah. Which trainer park? Okay, Newman Center. I'll heckle myself so you can relax. Not everybody in the Ozarks lives in a trailer park, okay? There is a huge waiting list. <laughs> you don't just get in there. You've got to earn it. You start with a pickup truck and a camper shell, and you build and you pray. You get a vision board. You put a double white on there, and you manifest that. Watch what you pray for. Things don't always go well. You've all seen that half a trailer going down the highway? That's an Ozark divorce. <laughs> Sorry to bring that up during the holiday extravaganza, but it happens. It ha it's a wide load. It's a wide emotional load, kids. Those red flags are on there for a reason. Stay back 10, 15 years. <laughs> I speak from experience. I live in half a trailer. Thank you. Do not feel bad for me, Newman Center. I live in Colorado in half a trailer, so... The value, she went up exponentially. Especially when I started calling her a tiny house. So, I am rich. I live in a tiny house. I cook on a tiny stove. I have a tiny stove. That's my Easy Bake oven. I still have it. Anybody have an Easy Bake growing up? Easy Bake, testify. Thank you, thank you. That's right, Easy Bake. First of all, Miss Nomer was not an Easy Bake. It was somewhat difficult bake. Somewhat challenging bake. What was that, 1 16th of a crappy cake? 1 16th, can I say crappy on CPR? Sure, oh, you're gonna edit that out. The kids are here, the kids. First of all, give it up for me, I had to follow beautiful children. The one rule in show business, do not follow children. Thank you, Ryan. <laughs> one sixteenth of a, a cake, let's just call it a cake. It's one sixteenth of a cake. You can't do fractions, you're fine. You can't do fractions and they know that. You overload the little pan, globs of chocolate everywhere, huge cake rising up in that oven. Remember that? You're staring at it through that little window. Remember the window? The portal, the portal for your joy. We were cooking with a light bulb, kids. <laughs> kids, in our day, light bulbs got hot. <laughs> Incandescent, they called them. You can't cook with an LED. <laughs> You'll be there all day and just fudge. Can I say fudge? Yes, okay. <laughs> a huge cake would rise up in there. You're staring at it. We're cooking with the light bulb, 100 watt bulbs, two of them, 200 watt bulbs. You're staring at it through a piece of glass. Now look, they won't let you look at an eclipse, but you can stare at that 100 watt bulb. <laughs> Girls don't need their retina, apparently. We went easy bait blind, a lot of us. I still am blind in this right eye. She's a drifter, she is a drifter. <laughs> I meet twice as many people as the rest of you. Every cloud has a silly lining. <laughs> that cake would rise up so big and you had self-esteem. Do you remember that? Remember that transient self-esteem? Because I say transient, because that was a big cake that had to come out of slot this high. Does anybody remember this problem? <laughs> For those radio viewers, that was a big cake with a little slot and it would not come out. You couldn't get it out of there. You had to force it out with another cake pan. It was the two cake pan easy bake system. You actually had to bake another cake to get the other cake. Yeah, you had to make another cake to get that cake. Cake, 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 cake. Setting you up for the type two diabetes that you now have. Pretty soon you had a stack of cakes this high. You're doing weddings for Barbie and you did not know why. Stalactites of chocolate began to hang down off the light bulb. Stalactites of chocolate. You couldn't get them out of there, the slots. You couldn't clean it. They didn't give you any easy off for the easy bake. You had to get creative. You had to send Barbie in, spelunking. It was spelunking Barbie. Get in there, Barbie. No, I'm afraid. Get in there, Barbie. You, does, that, does that look anything like a Barbie? You try to force Barbie in that little slot, but you know, in the 60s, parts of her were disproportionately large. <laughs> you had to shave those off. And it took a lot of time. I don't care how rough your sidewalk is. So I'm a single mom, <laughs> I'm single, well, I'm a single stay away from home mom, I'll tell you that. It's better this way. I'm an older mom, I'm, I should have a 35 year old, I have a 15 year old. Uh, yes, and you knew I was an older mom because my name is Nancy. <laughs> they haven't made a Nancy since 1964. <laughs> and I am not a late model Nancy. I'm getting, my neck fell this year, just fell, just fell. 
And I, I'm a single mom, I can't afford a facelift, so I just put a chip clip back here. <laughs> which I will be selling in the lobby. I call them Ozark facelifts if you want one. Come and see me. Come and see me. My son is adorable and uh, I, by the way, I did not birth him in my 40s. I adopted him. Or as he says, I bought him. I had a Groupon. <laughs> That's his joke. That's his joke. That's how he copes. It's a beautiful thing. If you haven't considered adoption, let me just put that out this holiday season. Uh, <laughs> adopt a child for Christmas. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just saying it was a beautiful journey and I'm so glad he's in my life. And uh, although he's hilarious and funnier than me and he's writing jokes now and I'm gonna tell you one of his jokes. Okay, he wrote this. What do you see when aliens get diarrhea? Mysterious crap circles. <laughs> he's cute. He's cute. His, when he was a toddler, his first words were hot flash. He goes, that's it for me. I'm Nancy Norton. I hope you enjoy this holiday extravaganza.